heard some people in both parties describe their opponents as enemies or evil. In America, our political opponents are not evil. In South Sudan, where rape is routinely used as a weapon of war, that is evil. In Syria, where the dictator uses chemical weapons to murder innocent children, that is evil. In North Korea, where American student Otto Warmbier was tortured to death, that was evil. In the last two years, I've seen true evil. We have some serious political differences here at home, but our opponents are not evil. They're just our opponents. We are blessed with a political system that allows us to resolve our differences peacefully. In the end, we must recognize that we are all Americans, and we are stronger and healthier when we are united. I <laughs> Additionally, gathered here tonight are great leaders of the Catholic Church. I would be remiss if I failed to mention the serious difficulties facing the Church. The issue of sexual assault is not limited to the Catholic family. It deeply touches the American family. The horrendous crimes that have been committed are harmful. There's the devastation of the sexual abuse itself, and there's the fact that the perpetrators of these crimes were people in a position of faith and trust. The church's place must be with the victims that carry the pain with them. I know the church leaders recognize its deep responsibility to address the, this moral failing, and it is taking action. But there's another point I want to emphasize. It would be tragic to allow the abuse scandal to blind anyone to the amazing good works the Catholic Church does every single day. The Al Smith Dinner itself has raised millions of dollars for the needy in New York. But it goes way beyond that. In the last two years, I've been to some very dark places where human suffering is on a level that's hard for most Americans to imagine. I've been to the border of, between Colombia and Venezuela where people walk three hours each way in the blazing sun to get the only meal that they will have that day. Who's giving them that meal? The Catholic Church. I've been to refugee camps in Central Africa where young boys are kidnapped and forced to become child soldiers and young girls are raped as a matter of routine. Who is in the forefront of changing this culture of corruption and violence? The Catholic Church. Just about everywhere I've been on humanitarian missions, I've come across the church doing incredible work that lifts up millions of desperate people. It is serving God's will. There are real problems, yes, but we must not lose sight of the miracles that are performed every day. Those miracles are the way of the church. And as the proud daughter of Indian immigrants who got to the honor of representing my state as governor and our country as United Nations ambassador, I will say those miracles are the way of America. Thank you and may God bless you.